is JL and I'm back with some new Minecraft updates. So, um, I saw Ethos butt switch video and was instantly amazed. It's a really cre cool creation. Yeah, and I tried to rebuild one myself and I figured a very, very interesting thing. Um, here is a butt switch which um, does not give a pulse if it's uh, if a but uh, if a block gets updated, but uh, it changes its state. So this one doesn't need a T flip, and therefore is uh, extremely compact and extremely easy to build. Just dig a hole somewhere for the redstone torch in, and place repeaters and redstone wire like this. And you're done. Oh, uh, I didn't use a sticky piston. Then, of course, it can't work. It's a bit hard to see with this texture pack, texture pack here. But uh, now it's working. Um, here are some more compact versions. This one is just 2x3 and works also. Um, it's also very easy to build. Just do it like this. But therefore it's a bit higher. Um, yeah, and this was wrong. Just on the same level. Then above. And you're ready. For testing. And the one I'm using in the this creation is a just one wide version. You can see it perhaps, it's um, a row of redstone, then a repeater set to two, that's important, so I will just rebuild it. So this one has to be set to two. Then you need a redstone wire, a powered one. Then redstone wire here, a block here, wire here, a block here. And a piston. Uh, you could can just place it on top of the wire. So and yeah, it's I always forget to use the sticky one. So now it's finished. And perfectly working. Here you can see what uh, can be done with these relatively small teeth um, flip flop butt switches. Um, this is a light sensor, just as ESOS, but it's uh, much more sensitive since it has five instead of one grass blocks, which can um, get destroyed or uh, yeah, where dirt where which can become grass and um, yeah it's it's I will show it first and I, I will explain it so uh, this switch is just to um, is to simulate night now it's dark on the top and yeah this switch still says stay but um, after a short while it shoots yes now it's night and yeah, just a block exchanger switched. This time it's in the wall. I will make a tutorial of, uh, for this and I've also made one for the ceiling. 
but back to the light switch. Um, yeah, as you can see, there are several glass blocks, and you can see that, um, that they are after up, um, decayed when the pistons are extended. And every time one is extended, um, a short pulse is sent to a um, memory unit, and now it's uh, in the night position. Here, I just the third one switched, and if it becomes day. Um, just if any of these gets uh, pulled back, um, a pulse will, s will be sent to the other uh, input of the memory unit, so therefore the first one, which is updated, will update the le uh, level here, and vice versa. The only time when it's a bit slower is if you just uh, went to night, just the night began, and one of them extended so that it indicates light, and then you skip back to day by perhaps, for example, sleeping, because uh, one is extended. Yeah, you, you heard it, it's now it's uh, switched back to the day, and yeah, the one extended here, and now it's switched back to night because it's getting dark. Yeah, it's uh, relatively sensitive, and yeah, it's much more reliable than the, just the one which has just one grass block. Because, as you can see, some of the grass blocks need much time to switch, and therefore, if you have bad luck, you may have to wait several minutes until the switch updates. But if you have several switches, um, yeah, it will update much faster and much more reliable. Um, so, let's get to how this is built. It's very easy, and uh, although it looks uh, quite complicated. So, here is how it's done. At first you should know that if you make it bigger, it will be more sensitive. So, in this case, um, it has five grass blocks, as you can count, one, two, three, four, five. I could just extend this design, it's completely clonable, and yeah, it would be even more sensitive, but it would be also uh, yeah, much bigger. And yeah, keep in mind that uh, if you make it too big, you will probably have problems with the redstone wire length and have to use some repeaters at certain points. But um, yeah. I think uh, five is enough, so I will just show you how to make one with five grass blocks. Um, start with... Um, oh, you don't even have to dig down. Start with a row of cobbles here. And place a redstone torch every second block. And wire in between. So just like this, three redstone torches. Uh, yeah, it's just a design, you could also use one, but um, yeah, I'm using three. So, so, and then extend the wire here. Just like this, four blocks. Put a repeater to the end and set them all to two. That's important. Then Place redstone wire and this row of cobbles. And yeah, what you are building here are the butt switches. Um, yeah, you need a huge amount of dirt. So um, I think that's enough dirt. <laughs> so let's go on. Uh, yeah, here you should um, use some dirt because yeah, it can turn into grass and therefore increase your spreading rate. Just like this. So, now you can place the sticky pistons. 
place them onto the wire. And just put a torch here so you can see better. Uh, I will skip today. So let's go on. Place dirt blocks above here and then you will have to surround this area with dirt. Yeah, I failed here. Uh, so, um, the holes have to be directly above the pistons, just like this. And you can uh, take away the dirt in between, just uh, build this dirt structure here. This is uh, where the grass will spread, so you need some grass in the um, here and yeah, you should s start building a grass bridge if you, there isn't, a, isn't any in the near, because um, yeah, it takes a bit time, or you can just move the grass with, with pistons if you are not too cheap to do this. So, that's it, and next step is to, yeah, this time we need some normal pistons. Put them above the holes like this, and then we will. Oh, I need some more cobble. Uh, yeah, and what what is important? You need a flint of f uh, and steel. I should have mentioned it at the beginning, but I forgot. Um, you probably want to know why. It's uh, because you can force a block to update with flint and steel without um, placing a block, so you can trigger it as, here, as you can see. Just if you try to ignite this block, you can trigger the uh, butt switch with the flint and steel. Okay, so let's go on. And I need some more space here. So the next step is to place repeaters all set to the maximum delay uh, behind the other ones. Then put two redstone wires behind every repeater. Then put a block behind everyone, and a block on top, and a block behind. And I have to dig some more space out behind me. So, and now put the redstone torches like this, and then some more blocks on top of them and then some more repeaters again all set to 4 and again wire on top of them A block in front of them. Uh, just failed. And some redstone torches in front of it. So then place redstone wire here. And now I have to dig out a bit uh, stone, so I will skip this. So next step is to put redstone torches at the side of the cobblestones here and then dig one row below and 
and there's a cave here, so I have to fill it up and place redstone. And for the top one, do it like this. And the last step is to activate the memory unit. So, by placing redstone like this, and now you're done. You have just to put an output somewhere, for example here. Uh, yeah, I forgot something. Of course, you've got to build the structure on top, but um, most things here are finished. So, next step is to connect the pistons. And I'm out of redstone wire. So let's go on. Uh, so place cobbles behind the pistons and then just some redstone wire to connect everything correctly. Next step, build a dirt wall around this setter here. Um, like this. Yeah, it's sometimes a bit hard to place it correctly. Yeah, it, I think the wall can also be out of any material, but maybe uh, it spreads a bit faster if it's out of dirt, uh, out of grass, but yeah, it's, you have to wait until it's grass, of course. And yeah, next step, build this row of dirt above. And leave holes where the holes below are. So, and now we have to place water in the top holes. So, um, yeah, and I'm in a snow snowy biome. This is a bit co more complicated if you are in this one, because you can't just place torches beside cause then it's, uh, yeah, it's influencing your, um, uh, yeah, your light sensor. And, yeah, as Oh. I said um, I'm building five, but I just built it for um, grass blocks. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's, it doesn't matter. You can build as much as you want. So um, yeah, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> and uh, now it should be finished. Um, if you are in a s snow biome. Um, you have to place glass blocks above everything, and, and of course you have to wait until the grass is spread, and until then the whole construction won't work at all. So, and 
Yeah, water can't freeze if there is any block above it, even a translucent block, so it can't freeze if there is glass above it, but um, glass doesn't affect um, sunlight, so it's er everything is working perfectly if you just put glass on top. Yeah, uh, remember, it's, uh, this is only necessary if you are in, a, in an ice biome, but uh, yes, as you can see, I am in a one. <coughs> Yeah, and um, thanks for watching and see you next time.